So PrepLadder released their new question bank, the question bank 2.0. So in this video, we will dissect every little detail, the good, the bad, everything and see what is in store for us. Hey there, I'm Subhav Ramnani, the guy who's mad about medicine just like you. If you're new here, then make sure to subscribe to my channel by clicking the button below and also follow me on Instagram where I post some amazing medical content, some interesting quizzes and exciting challenges and giveaways. You can find the links to all of this and everything mentioned in this video down in the description box below. So let's go. So disclaimer alert first, I have been using prep ladder since a while now and this review is based on their blog post and my experience with the platform. So there are many things new with the question bank update. Some things I personally wanted, some things that came to me as a surprise and some things I feel they should add in the future. So we'll go through everything right from the basics and towards the more complex features. I'll put timestamps to all the topics we'll be covering in this video so feel free to skip around if you want. So let's start with the basics. Number one, availability. So people know that videos from Prep Ladder, they don't work on laptop. Uh, they just work on their apps. But the question bank, people don't know. It works everywhere. It works on their laptop. I mean the website. It works on the iOS and Android apps and even on your tablets. So many people don't know that you can actually use your laptop and log into the prep ladder website and use these question banks even in my previous video i had a clip of me doing question banks uh, on the laptop and there were many people commenting how are you using prep ladder on the laptop uh, it's an official feature so yeah you can go ahead you can try it out right now go sign in with your id and you can use your question bank on the laptop so moving forward how many questions are there in this new question bank 2.0 so roughly there are 23,000 questions. To put that into perspective, a basic USMLE resource like uh, UWorld or Boards and Beyonds or the Kaplan Question Bank, they have roughly from 2,000 to 5 to 6,000 questions maximum. Here you're getting 23,000 questions which are covering 19 subjects in total. So I feel if I do these 23,000 questions, I can confidently say that I'll be well prepared to give the next or the NEET PG exam and ace it, definitely. But what all matters in the end is your hard work. So what all topics are covered in these question banks? So, so far I have used the question banks, you see the video and then you attempt the question banks. Roughly all the high yield points or all the major topics of the video are covered in the question bank so there is no need to worry about you know watching the video again if you're doing the question bank applying your knowledge you'll be good to go but there's one more point to notice i feel and i saw that there are some questions which are not covered in the video but they are covered in the question bank so you might feel that oh i haven't studied this so how can i answer this so this is actually a good thing because uh, see these questions are not typically out of the syllabus. They are just a bit out of the box. They make you think out of the box. So, so for example, there are no one liner questions that are not explained in the video, but there are in the question bank. There are questions that you might have to think more. You might have to combine knowledge from previous topics and then answer the question so it will really help you think out of the box and this is a feature many of you might not like but I think this is a step in the great direction because you are tend to think more and apply that knowledge and get that question correct you'll be able to learn the technique to eliminate the options and get to the right answer even if you don't know the answer directly also there are detailed explanation for the questions in the question bank but we'll jump to the explanation part later in the video and see what's in store for us so next up is that we have more clinical questions from all these 19 subjects so while the next timeline is hanging by a thread and students are anxious uh, what will be the next exam like uh, will it uh, be very different from need pg will it have more clinical questions so will it be more difficult 
so one thing i can say for sure that they are moving towards a more usmle style based pattern i'd say so definitely there will be more clinical questions coming in the next exam and i think prep ladder has noticed this and i'm seeing that there are more clinical questions in these question banks and uh, for an estimate i would say that about 40 30 to 40% of the questions are clinical whereas the others are one liners and knowledge based questions and this has changed uh, massively because previously you had just one or two clinical based questions per question bank which is not enough and i feel as we move forward we'll be seeing more clinical based questions in the future updates and you can expect this ratio to grow even bigger maybe a uh, 50 50 or even 60 40 to clinical based questions and i'm looking forward to it i think practicing these clinical based questions definitely gives you an edge over someone who has not even seen or not practiced enough clinical based questions so uh, because this helps you apply that knowledge and not just uh, you know recall from rote memorization like a one liner question so i think this is a really good step in the right direction and i wish uh they include more clinical based questions in the future updates but for now we have about 40% i can say so now as we move forward i've seen more image based questions i've seen more video based questions and even gif or gif whatever you want to call it so yeah there are more questions like these and we know we all hate those pink slides and we just don't know what is this it all seems pink to us when a pathology slide comes up in the exam but this is what will help you answer those questions because it's just about practice you cannot effectively learn all the slides all the pathology slides or even for say all the gross pictures but you can definitely know the high yield ones and see them again and again and answer those and remember those so this is a great addition and so for example let's say uh, if you know about the theory of emphysema but if you don't know how does a post mortem emphysema lung looks so there is actually no use if a question about emphysema pops up in your exam and you're not able to answer it because a picture you weren't able to recognize of emphysema so i think this is a good addition especially for those visual learners like myself because i am really more into watching videos than reading books but that's just my opinion and because i learn better when i see something visually so uh, questions based on videos and images uh, will really help me and for what i've noticed have really helped me because i've got some wrong and i've learned from them and definitely i won't be getting those wrong in the future so moving forward another thing uh, a surprise out of the box thing is that prep ladder says that these question banks are all covered in the notes or rather i'll say the notes are all covered in these question banks so for example if you do a video and you attempt the question bank there are there is absolutely no need to read the notes uh, you can just go on attempting the question bank and if you get that right or even if you get that wrong can read the explanations you're basically covering the notes or the information which was explained in the video all of it so you never have to open the book you never have to open your uh, notes and just attempt those uh, questions and bookmark it or uh, practice the incorrects again and that's how you can revise it uh, do it in a spaced manner so you'll have a spaced repetition and questions are always an active way to revise everything so i think this can combine spaced repetition and active recall into one and it's an amazing thing because you don't have to worry about opening your notes anymore as the question banks are already already covering all the information in the notes So yeah this came to me as a surprise and apparently I already have the notes so okay and anyway most of you will agree with me that doing questions is better than reading your notes again and again and again so yeah so the next update we have here is what we expect from any platform which gives us questions is that the questions are based on the latest pattern of let's say uh, the neat exam the jipmer exam the aims exam and etc and etc but what i want to focus here is of course there are questions and mcqs based on the latest exam pattern but i also see previous year question papers based on aims neat and jipmer 
so all these previous year question papers are sorted by years and also by the subject so for example if you've completed anatomy and you want to attempt anatomy and you're more focused towards the neat pg exam you can just go to the question banks of modules of anatomy and select the neat pg pattern and practice questions from that so yes this module helps you focus more towards a targeted pattern and i like that because then you get a familiarity with the exam and that helps you lower down the anxiety levels during the exam because you're familiar with the pattern the type of questions so yeah it's a big big plus again so coming on to the explanation of the questions so i've noticed a few things here and i would like to go them point by point number one is that before the explanation were like not enough you can say and i always felt that i needed a little more background a little more information because i got this question wrong so there's a possibility i'm missing something somewhere so i would like to uh, analyze that and fill that uh, knowledge gap with some information but i always felt the information given in the explanations were not enough but uh, from the feedback i think they have recognized it and now i see the explanation is more point wise it's more high yield it focuses more on the major topics and it is very concise so the second thing i've noticed about explanations that is often mapped with the treasures so treasures are basically the most high yield points comparing different things so these will be helpful especially in questions which involve you to differential diagnose a disease or which involve you to compare some things with the other so this is where these treasures or tables come into play so i like that these treasures are now mapped with the question banks so now you can revise the treasures while doing the question banks and I, as i already said you can revise the notes while doing the question banks so i think they are trying to make it a one stop shop that you just watch the video and do the question bank and basically you've covered everything and even if you have prior knowledge so before watching the video you can attempt the question bank and see where your knowledge is or where your knowledge gaps are and analyze yourself because the explanations are now as i said more point based more concise and they offer you a good explanation along with pictures also the third thing is that all questions have a reference in the end so like for example if you still feel that the explanation was not enough and you need more information there's always a reference in the end from where you can see the information for example there'll be a a uh, reference like you can see this more at page number 207 from tripathi book or something like that so yeah i think that's a big plus but to be honest i never really used this because i felt that the explanations were um, adequate and they were enough and i usually prefer if i don't feel the explanations are enough i'll just watch the video again so those of you who love retaining the knowledge from the books so this is a big plus for you and now you can just skip to that page and read the information and see where the knowledge gap is and then answer the question now one thing i also wish they had but uh, unfortunately i haven't seen this that the explanation should also feature why this option is wrong in some questions when it is mapped with the treasures you can see that why a b and c are wrong and d is the correct option every explanation has why this option is the correct option but i would like to see more that uh, why these are not the correct options because i feel that is equally important in differentiating and answering the question so yeah if anyone from prep ladder is listening uh, i would like that we get an explanation for why a b and c for example are not correct and why d is correct so yeah so this one i think is the biggest feature and i was really really impressed with it this is the custom module feature now i know we always had we've always had this custom module option in prep ladder but now what has changed is that they have revamped it totally and to tell you more about this i would like to show you a live example so here we go so here i am on the prep ladder home screen where i can select the prepare tab and select the option of custom module for example let's focus on neuro today so i can name my module neuro then i am presented with the number of questions i can select 20 50 or 100 so let's select 20 then there is a mcq difficulty level i can select easy medium or hard 
I can even select a combination. So for example, I want to do medium and hard questions today. Then I can select the MCQ category. For example, I just want to practice my bookmark question or just my incorrects. I can even select a combination. So like practicing incorrect and unattempted questions. The next step is the most important is to select your subjects. So as I said, we'll be focusing on neuro today. So let's select neuro topics. So first unselect the select all subjects and then just check anatomy. Further, there's an option of all topics. So check here and then unselect the choose all topics option. As we said, we'll be focusing on neuro. So I'll select the neuro anatomy option and click on save. I can do this for all the subjects, especially for medicine, which will have a separate neuro topic. So this next step, I think it's the most improved step and the step I would like to focus on. It is to select tags. So here you can see there are several tags, AIMS pattern, NEAT pattern, image based, clinical, slides, management. So these are like hashtags you use on Instagram. You can search for any hashtag and there'll be questions tagged accordingly. So for example, I select slides hashtag here and I can even select a combination of tags. So like slides and neat pattern, a combination of these two or neat pattern and clinical questions, a combination of these two. So it will present me with questions based on clinical pattern and the neat pattern. So that was the tags feature. And now the last step is to select a method. There are two methods, a QBank mode and a test mode. In a QBank mode, we'll be presented with the solution right after we answer a question. And in the test mode, we'll be presented with the solution after we answer all the questions. So let's review neat pattern, clinical, QBank mode, and let's press on create module. Here we can see a summary of whatever options we have selected. And now we are ready to start the module. Now, as you can see, we are presented with all the questions, the 20 questions we had selected. And here we go. That was a very impressive custom module feature, which I have been loving to be honest. And now we have a few small features I would like to cover. So PrepLadder says that their questions have zero error as they are reviewed by toppers and the best faculty. But I like that they still have an option to report an error if you feel that there is something wrong, even if it's a spelling mistake or there is something wrong with the options or the knowledge. So there is still an option to report an error. It has not gone. So even when they are claiming that there are zero errors, you can still report an error. So that's good. Another good feature I like is that whenever you open your prep ladder app, there is a question of the day. So if you've completed everything or if you've completed some parts, so and you see that the question is from those parts, you can just attempt it as a question of the day. It'll be like a normal question with normal explanation. But yeah, this just forces you to do questions every day, which is a good habit, as I've said. And I also have a challenge about it, the QBank with MAM. It's over on my Instagram channel, so do check that out. So yeah, doing questions every day is a big plus and this feature enforces it. Now some other small features we are left with are the timer, the bookmark, the review and the reset options. So these are some pretty basic features you expect from a platform like Prep Ladder, and it's good to have them. One thing I can say that it would be nice if we could have color coded bookmarks, let's say uh, I want to bookmark this question because there was a knowledge gap. I want to bookmark this question because I knew the question, but I got it wrong because of a silly mistake. So it would be helpful to differentiate. Uh, but other than that, I don't think so. There is anything else I can add to these small features because already uh, there are MCQ tags, as I said, uh, the aims pattern, the need pattern. So usually people use bookmark for that, but now they've covered that. So this is the only thing I can think that uh, the color coded bookmarks or the separated bookmarks would be better. But this is a pretty small feature and maybe they will add it in the future updates. But yeah, so far we have bookmarks, review, reset and timer, the pretty small features we all need. So overall, I've been loving the question bank and I've seen some great improvements. And as I said, some improvements I would like to see. So let me know down in the comments below what you feel about the new question bank 2.0 and we'll discuss it over there. If you gained anything from this video, then do give it a thumbs up. And if you absolutely loved it, smash that subscribe button. And as always, stay healthy, stay safe and stay mad, but just about medicine.